you know, I'm great doing this life. I can do this life. I'm really good at living off of nothing because that's been pretty much my whole life. I've had to learn how to survive. My biggest problem is that I can't afford to buy a decent vehicle to do it with. I can afford regular maids, but this is ridiculous. And I don't give a shit who says anything about crocodile tears, but I am literally hanging by a thread here. I have, I have hit my breaking point. I, I am so sick of living like this. I'm so sick of living like this. I love the nomad life, but I, I can't afford a decent vehicle to do it out of. That is my biggest and only problem. If I didn't have a vehicle that wanted to take my entire monthly check in one month and then continue giving me problems, I wouldn't be having so many issues right now. I would be perfectly fine. I have spent 70% of my life homeless, which was another reason I wanted to do this life because I knew at least if I had a vehicle that nobody could ever kick me out of my home again, ever. I could never be homeless again because at least I'd have that. I can't stay positive anymore, guys. I'm sorry. I can't. I, I have completely reached my breaking point. It's a lot for me to get to this point. I am a strong person. I am not weak in the least. Everything that I've gone through in my life has made me strong. Almost too strong, but there. I'm so tired. I'm so tired of being strong and putting on a happy face when I don't even want to be here anymore. I have struggled with major depressive disorder my whole life. And the only thing that helps that is being out of New York and I don't need to travel the whole time. I just wanted to get to one simple place to get some help with this when I could because it was my only chance to get help and I can't even do that and now it's over and I have no options. I have no help. I'm damned if I don't. Like I'm told to get a job or whatever and I start, you know, announce that I wanted to do something that I love that, you know, can bring me some kind of income and I still get nasty comments telling me that I don't know, I'm not going to go into what they said specifically, I'm just saying I still get mean comments. So it doesn't matter what I do, it doesn't matter if I don't do anything, or if I do do anything, or if I ask for donations, it doesn't matter what I do, I'm still getting crap done for it. Like I need that right now. I have to take the risk at the Walmart, even though there was not one other RVer or van dweller or anybody there last night. Even though when I googled the question, you know, is it RV overnight friendly, everyone said yes, 24 hours, but usually you get some kind of confirmation with that. So, I guess I'm just going to make some more hula hoops. It's really hard to try and sell them out of here. I have no idea what I'm supposed to say to people. You know, I've, I've asked a few people already, you know. I dream of what it must feel like to be like, to be one of those people from the van build that just has something given to them. That is in great working order, is already built out. Because they need it. I think of what it must be like. Because that's the kind of stuff I watch people around me happen to. But that kind of stuff has never happened to me. Never. I feel like I've been alone my whole life. I'm just so sick of it. I'm fine being by myself, but I just... I don't know. That's all, folks.